17 years after the gruesome serial killing and the horror killings, in fact, from Nithari Noida, the High Court today had acquitted two of the main accused. The, both the accused, Surinder Kohli and Marinder Singh Pandey, were acquitted by the Allahabad High Court today. Now the details of the order are out. The High Court, in its order, has said, in fact, uh, uh, the investigation otherwise is botched up and basic norms of collecting evidence have been brazenly violated. It appears to us that the investigation uh, opted for the easy course of implicating a poor servant of the house by demonizing him without taking due care of probing more serious aspects of uh, possible involvement of organized activity of organ trading. Now, this, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it points out uh, once again to shoddy investigation, which was uh, first conducted by the Uttar Pradesh police and then, of course, by the CBI. This was one of the most high-profile cases that the country has seen in the last two decades. The question, the big question that people are still asking, especially the victims, if these people did not kill their children, who actually killed them? My colleague Tanishk is now joining us at this moment with more details of this uh, High Court order. Tanishk, now very, very important, scathing and crucial remarks have been made by the High Court while acquitting both these accused. Yes, Ankit, definitely very important and crucial remarks. And let me just tell you that the key to this case was the confession. Confession of, of uh, S. Kohli. So, uh, now according uh, the High Court in, it or, in its order said that the prosecution, uh, according to prosecution, there were several confessions made by the accused. I would like to read just two extracts or from the order copy about, about, about the confession. Now, the order copy says that despite specific allegations of severe physical torture, the accused for extracting his confirmation, uh, confession for... Uh, for not holding the medical examination has rendered the confession unreliable. This is one of the extract from the order copy. The other says, the, 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 the other extract says, in the confession itself, the accused has alleged, uh, alleged torture by the police, which renders the confession untrustworthy by the virtue of Section 24 of the Evidence Act. Now, these are, these are some of the key points made and the court also, also pointed out in the lapses and, and the mistakes that were, made, that were made during the course of investigation. Of course, the probe of uh, organ trading, uh, the angle of organ trading was not probed proper, properly and again, uh, this led to the acquittal of, uh, of the two accused.